All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Off the farm today, working on a pool. Um, what we got here, we got a skimmer that is actually cracked and it's starting to leak. So unfortunately with plastic, that's gotta be replaced. You could try to put some glue or something on the outside here, uh, but eventually it's just gonna wear through and the crack kind of runs all the way down and all the way up through here. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this today. And you want to go ahead and get your water lower than the skimmer here, which we got the pump going over there. So once this gets down, we'll be able to take this whole thing off. So now we have the water below the skimmer. We can go ahead and cut the pump. Go ahead and cut that. All right, so now we can go ahead and remove the skimmer plate. And you're going to want a number three bit. This should come off now. There we go. And we got our plate. You're also going to want to inspect this. Like we got a little bit of rust going on here so we can see what's going on. And we're putting a whole new gasket on here. Pull this old one out. All right, so just a little bit of rust here. Nothing that's poking through. Mostly surface rust from where the paint is just starting to wear away. Okay, so this is still solid, just surface rust. So we'll go ahead and put the new gasket in. So cool. All right, and remember, it goes in between the liner and the wall. So now that's on there, and just make sure all your holes are all lined up. All right, so you're gonna get your new screws, and you're gonna get one of them out, and we're gonna go ahead and set this. All right, and you wanna do this by hand, once again with a number three. So we're gonna start with the top metal here. And we're gonna basically just trace our old lines here, the old holes. And we're gonna go right through there. And show the inside. Show over here, bud. So we're gonna come right through here, and we're gonna get our skimmer up here, and we're gonna get that part attached. So there's your middle, or where my thumb is. We're gonna go ahead and line this up. We're just gonna get it started. You don't wanna crank it down all the way. So now that's on there. 
So now we're going to do the same thing with the bottom middle. We're going to come from the inside and come back out here and get it connected. And the reason you don't want to drive the, this one in all the way is because then this will be off. Going in the middle again. Like I said, just match up your old one here. If you could show down in there. Yep, you can see it go right through there, through the gasket, through the wall. And now we just need to line up our skimmer. Now come over here. Now you, you may need to turn your skimmer to get it set just right, but then you get it in the center hole and you're all set. So there's our center piece and there's our screw. So now we should be able to line this right up and start getting that in there. Yep, there it goes. And this is the hardest part. Once you get this, the rest go in because it's all lined up. You just got to get your top middle and your top bottom lined up. So we can go ahead and get these tight. Top bottom. Alright, so these are the most important ones to get in. So now we got those two in. Now you can see the rest are all lined up. So we just pretty much have to put in the new screws. All right, so I just used the drill gun and I set it at nine. Uh, just to get them in a lot quicker than having to do them all by hand. But once we do get them in, uh, you want to go ahead and hand tighten them all down. And just be careful because it is plastic. You don't want to over tighten. But go ahead and get them down hand tight. Start from the middle and just work your way out. All right, so we have the whole new skimmer in and we got our grounding in there. Now we just need to go ahead and hook up our piping here and we should be back in business, start filling it up and new skimmer on and should be good to go for a while. So we're all set here. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description if you're looking to purchase one or any of the stuff that we use here at the White House Farm. Uh, but once again, hope you like, enjoy, subscribe, and as usual, we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. You can't say goodbye without saying... Goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.